once again, we're back here at Harlem Week. Right now, we're looking at Rude Girl performing. Now, we're gonna go and let you see the rest of the show, but we're gonna roll to our first video. Main source, you're faking the funk on Video Explosion. Check them out on stage. Once again, welcome back to Video Explosion. Unfortunately, we got some bad news that they said that Nice and Smooth won't be unable to perform on stage, but we're going to let the cameras go to him and let him hear what he has to say. He was on his way from Arizona. I was here all day waiting for him. So he like, he effed up on a down low. But um, it ain't even no music. The only reason I came up here is because all y'all people is real faithful, and a lot of people been asking me, am I, I going to perform? And I'm like, I can't, because my man ain't here. But like, I want to do this like old school. I don't even got no music. I want to see how many of y'all know my song. Gang star has got to be the short shot. Nice and smooth has got to be the short shot. A gang star has got to be the short shot. What's up? Welcome to this edition of Movie Time. I'm your host, Patrick Farrell. And tonight, we're going to look at Hellraiser 3, released by Miramax Film. Hellraiser 3 features the return of Pinhead, the villain of the first two Hellraiser movies, played by Doug Bradley. At the beginning of the film, you will see that he was entrapped in the statue, but eventually escapes and goes to a bloodthirsty rampage in New York City. The only person standing in his way is a young television television reporter played by Terry Farrell 
who is determined to send him back to hell where he belongs. So if you want to know more, check out this clip. The Hellraiser 1. Clive Barker showed you his vision of a private hell. In Hellraiser 2, he took you on a journey inside the inferno. The terror returns in mankind's final confrontation with evil. Jesus Christ! Not quite. And this time, it's going to be hell on Earth. Sensibly. In the first movie, we saw Pinhead as a force, a demon raised from hell because of the, the, the solving of a puzzle box. Mm -hmm. In the second movie, we discovered something about the man that he had been before he had become Pinhead, the human being who had done the deal with the devil and had become this soul-gathering monster as a consequence. At the end of that movie, the two halves of Pinhead, the human half and the monster that he had become, were were driven apart. And as our third picture begins, the husk of Pinhead, the, the thing which is the monster, which has no moral qualms whatsoever any longer, is free on the earth. And that's a fairly, that's a fairly terrifying thought. The terror begins in New York City as a club owner buys an unusual piece of sculpture, only to find there is someone living inside. Jesus Christ! Not quite. Pinhead is back. The monster that has become an international phenomenon has returned. And once again, the man who is behind the Pinhead mask is actor Doug Bradley. This film is driven by the question of how Pinhead is reincarnated and what happens once he is. And what happens once he is this time is that we meet a Pinhead who is freed from the rules, the laws, and the constraints of the configuration. And he's, well, hell on earth suggests that he's, he's out here, he's on the streets, uh, and this is a more sinister and a more glibly malevolent uh, character who this time is prepared to and does get his hands dirty. Shall we begin? J. Rack, co-producer of Terminator 2, collaborated to produce the awesome special effects in Hellraiser 3. Fans who enjoyed Hellraiser 1 and 2 will not be disappointed as Bob Keane and his image animation team return with some staggering special effects and an outrageous group of brand new Cenobites. A Cenobite can be just about anything your imagination can cook up. In the third picture, we're actually creating not one, but a whole a host of, 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 of Cenobites there. We've got a, a slew of creatures. And that's, that's sort of fun because it means that um, the audience is going to have the, the central image, the central device of Pinhead there to give them pleasure. Um, and a little pain, of course. Uh, <laughs> but they're also going to have a new army, um, a sort of dirty half dozen of Cenobites to, to uh, to surprise them. Hot groups like Armored Saint, Soup Dragons, Material Issue, Electric Love Hogs, and Tin Machine make this soundtrack Hellraiser's best. When Motorhead recorded the hit single Hellraiser, they asked Clive Barker to direct.
Clive Barker and Dimension Films comes the most terrifying Hellraiser yet. Welcome back. If you really love horror films, you don't want to miss Hellraiser 3. Namely because Pinhead is more evil and more cruel than the first two Hellraiser movies. And also for special effects, it has great special effects and it has a good story storyline. And also accompanying uh, Pinhead is three extra villains there. One is Cameraman, CD Man, Can you believe it? A flame throwing bartender. But check it out. But the only thing I dislike about the movie is that it should have been a little more longer and also develop more character on on the movie. But make sure you check out this movie. Till next time. Peace. Explosion of the fabulous Chili. What's up, Chili? Welcome back. What's up? You know, I'm here with my crew, Cousin Rob. Right, Rally, so Rally. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Right, what's up? What's up? What's up? Man, uh, Dax, <laughs> catching up. No, no, man, Winston. Yeah, what's up? Man, Winston back there. Man, Jeff, Co op City in the house. Yo, man, what you been up to ever since, since we saw you, like, back in April? We're just chilling, doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? Doing shows. <laughs> uh, could you tell us possibly what the next single might be off the album? Oh, um, Funky Lemonade. <laughs> Funky Lemonade is the next single, the remix. After that, the next album. All right, cool, man. Wish you luck again. Wish you luck. Peace out. Uh, you can come back to Video Explosion. Oh, Molecules and Legion. My man, Luscious Luther. Anybody got shout out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to give a shout out to the whole Legion. My man, Mario. My man, Luscious Lou. And my cousin, Meek the Freak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to give a crazy, crazy shout out to the Legion and the Virginia State crew. They always in here. Yeah, Virginia State, Virginia State. State. Total wreck, total wreck, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to C. Smith, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shout out to you. the Douglas yeah. Projects, you know what I'm saying? What's up? Yeah. Shout out to Co-op City, peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My man, you All right. Give a shout out to my girl, you know who you are. I'll be looking for a funky lemonade in about two weeks. And don't forget, it's hot. My Chi Ali and Let the Horns Blow remix. Featuring me. Featuring my man Rallo Rallo. All right, cool. All right. Yo, Val, you got it going on. Go ahead, Pat. Yo, let the ladies over here give a shout out. Yeah. I want to give a shout out to my homegirls on her 12th Street, to Roxanne, Shalene, Ife, all of y'all. What's up? Shout out. I want to give a shout out to everybody uptown. Peace. You want to give a shout out? All right. We come to the end of our show. This is Video Explosion for on Harlem Week 92. Peace, y'all.